Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele. Today is October 4th, 2020, and it's been almost two weeks since I've had the time to sit down and record a video, so I got a little bit of extra time right now, so I wanted to go ahead and record one. Now, the contents of this video were inspired by an email conversation I had with someone, and she had mentioned in the email, one of the emails, the Fibonacci sequence, and that brought to mind something that I used to do with the Fibonacci sequence long, long years ago before I got into the more esoteric things like WD GAN and things of that nature. So I want to show it to you in this video just to give you a little something to think about. What I'm about to show you can obviously, because I'm going to show it to you this way, be applied to the Fibonacci sequence, but it can also be applied to things other than the Fibonacci sequence. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you in two markets. The first one is a very young stock, DoorDash. It's less than two years old. The IPO was back in December of 2020. So we had the IPO right here. The market moved down, moved up here, and it spiked up to an all-time high here that stayed the all-time high for several months. So we'll just go ahead and use this high right here. Now, before I get started with showing you what I'm going to show you, I want to cover what the Fibonacci sequence is just in case you might have missed it. Odds are you already know about the Fibonacci sequence and the ratio phi, P-H-I. But just in case, let me go ahead and cover that. If you take the number 1 and add it to the number 1, you get the number 2. And then if you add the previous number, which was 1, to that 2, you get the number 3. If you add the previous number, which is now number 2, to that 3, you get 5. And if you keep doing that, add 3, you get 8. Add 5, you get 13. Add 8, you get 21. You keep doing that, you get a sequence of numbers. After 21 comes 34, then 55, then 89, then 144, 233, and it just keeps going and going by adding the last number to the next number kind of a deal. The ratio of the smaller number to the bigger number is the smaller number is 0.618 of the bigger number, and the bigger number is 1.618 of the smaller number. Now, when you're really low in the Fibonacci sequence, the ratio is not exactly that number. That number is called phi, P-H-I. But once you get out into where the triple digits and quadruple digits, things of that nature, the bigger numbers, then the ratio gets very, very precisely close to phi and eventually syncs up with it. But we need to know this sequence of numbers to implement what I'm about to show you. So now that we have covered phi, just in case you didn't know about it, Let's go to this all-time high that I was talking about. The price of that high was $256.09. or $56 So what I used to do was take the closest Fibonacci sequence number, which is 233, and take that 256 and subtract out that Fibonacci sequence number of 233, and then the difference was 23. And then I figured that that difference of 23 would be important in relation to other Fibonacci numbers also. So for instance, if we take, let me clear this out, if we take the number 144, which is the number right before 233, and add that 23 to that, then we get the price level of 167. And if we look here, 167, right about there pretty close to that so we see that we definitely did have a bit of resistance here we could take that 144 and subtract out the 23 and get the number 121 and we see that 121 well there was some support there we could take the next number which is 89 the next number down from 144 in the sequence take 89 and add to that the 23 you get 112 and that's right about here and we see that we found support right there so i'm not going to keep showing you more and more examples of this because this is a very easy thing to do and calculate but i just wanted to show you a few examples here and that it does seem to work pretty well now in this case this is a young stock the IPO was less than two years ago, so this being an all-time high, that was a very important high. So now I'm going to go to U.S. Steel. 
the United States Steel Corporation, which is a stock that's been around since, well, since GAN was around. So it's over 100 years old. So you can use this on new stocks like DoorDash or really old stocks like U.S. Steel. And basically, we could just take this big high right here. Look at the price. The high was 39.25. So we bring the calculator up. And 39.25 minus 34, which would be the closest Fibonacci sequence number. And we get a difference of 525. And we can start by taking 34 and subtract out 525 to get 2875, which would be right around here. And while we haven't gotten to that number, found support or resistance at that number after the all-time high, we do see that the market was respecting that number before right there. So it's definitely an important number. We could go to the number 21, the sequence Fibonacci sequence number 21. Add to that 525. We get 2625. And that's right about there. And we see that we definitely did have resistance right there. Right, so if we take the 21 and subtract 525 from that, we get 1575, and that's right about here. We haven't seen anything hit that level. Let me put a line on the chart there 1575. That's close enough. We haven't seen anything quite hit that level at this point in time, but it did pre come pretty close back here, so. I'm pretty sure by this point you get the idea behind what I'm showing you. Very simple mathematics, and like I said, you can apply this to things other than just the Fibonacci sequence. So hopefully you find this useful in some form or fashion, and I will talk to you in the next video.